Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Althea from MethMG Blog and today I'm coming to you with a recipe for Guyanese bake. Uh, for this recipe you need really clean hands, so let's wash our hands. I usually use a brush to get anything from out under my nails. Now before we get started, we're going to take a look at the ingredients. You're going to need some flour. We're going to use about two or three cups. Some really good brown sugar. Some baking powder. And just about a cup of room temperature water. Mm. Alright, so let's get started. First you need a mixing bowl, um, medium to large size. Then we're going to add three cups three level cups of flour. So one, two, and three. We're going to use one cup of brown sugar. Now if you don't like your bake sweet, you can always reduce the amount of sugar that you put in the bake. Now you're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. <clears throat> and you want to mix this all together. Now I usually use my hands, but you can also use a whisk to mix it together. So if you have a whisk, you can just whisk that together and everything is nicely mixed. Now any lumps of sugar that you have you can just break those apart using your nice clean hands and then just continue to mix those together. Alright I think we're good. Now you want to make a well in the center of your ingredients. You can do this using your hands, you can use a spoon, you can use the whisk, whatever works for you. And then we're going to add just about a cup of water, about a cup of water, room temperature water to the center of all the wet ingredients. And you want to mix that together to make a really soft dough. Now my dough is a little stickier than I like it, so I'm going to add just a little, about a quarter cup of flour just over it. We've managed to get the dough to the right consistency, and there you have it. <clears throat> And I'm going to just wash my hands to get rid of all the extra dough that's in there. So now that my hands aren't completely covered in dough like they were before, I'm going to just gently knead this dough. Now remember, if your dough is really sticky, you can always just put your hands in the flour and just add a little bit of flour to keep it from sticking to your hand, but you really want it to be a soft kind of dough. You don't want it to be too stiff and you don't want it to be too sticky that you can't work with it. Now I'm going to just cover this dough with a damp paper towel. It's very dry where I live and if I left it out like this it would be very crusty. So I'm going to just cover it with a damp paper towel and let it sit for about an hour. Um, and then we'll take it from there. So I'll see you guys in an hour. So it's been about an hour since this has been sitting here. It's nice and soft. We're going to roll this onto a floured surface. And then we're going to just stretch it out a little so that we can manage how much dough we have so we can divide it into equal parts. 
So I think we're going to get about nine bakes from this. So I'm going to divide it into nine equal parts. So that's about 10 pieces actually, um, this one being kind of a little tiny, but it's cute. I'll keep that for my little son. Then you want to add some more flour to your surface and just knead this into a nice smooth little ball. So that's a tiny one. So let's show that again. So again, a little flour on your surface. Take one of the pieces of dough and you just fold it into each other. To form a smooth ball. And you continue to do this with all the pieces of dough. So once you're done forming balls out of all of the little pieces of dough, you're going to cover it with a damp paper towel and just let it sit there for about 10 to 20 minutes. And while that's sitting there, let's get our oil warmed up. So we're going to get a small or medium sized stock pot, just with enough space to help to maneuver the bake and three to four cups of oil that's good for frying. So this is canola oil. You can use vegetable oil or peanut oil, anything that's good for frying. And you want to put this on medium heat until it gets really hot. Or if you have uh, oil or candy thermometer until it's about 300 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes that so these have been sitting here and we're going to start to roll them out. So you need to, a rolling pin and a lot of you have asked where I got this rolling pin from and actually my uncle in Guyana made it for me. So um, I don't know where you guys would get one but it's a really good rolling pin. You want to make sure your flour is really sir your surface is really floured, sorry. And you take one of the doughs and you just just press it down and make it into a flat disc. You're going to roll this out until it's about the thickness of a coin, which is about an eighth of an inch thick. So there you go. So let's try that again. You're going to put a piece of dough or a ball of dough and just make it into a flat disc and then roll it out until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Now don't worry if you don't have perfect circles. I rarely ever have perfect circles. Although this one's pretty perfect. And you want to do this with all of the dough. It's smart to do it kind of before you start frying just to give yourself leeway in the frying and you're not going back and forth. But if you're familiar with making bakes, then you can do two or three ahead and cook some and then roll some more out. So a good way to test if your oil is ready is to just put some flour in there. If it gives a good sizzle, then it's ready. Yep, that's ready. So once the oil is up to temperature, you're going to add a bake. It's going to sink to the bottom for a little bit, but then we'll come right back up. You can use a spoon to just spoon some of the hot oil on top of the bake. And then once one side is brown, you can just flip it over 
to the other side. So you're letting the bake cook for about three minutes. Now serve these up with some really delicious salt fish. As you can see I have mine sitting right over here. If you want the recipe just check the description box below or you can go to metamg.com and You'll find the recipe for saltfish and bakes there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Thanks!